here with Breathe Life Ministries. And I just wanted to share with you a quick word of life. Um, <laughs> I don't know about you, but it seems like um, God talks to me in the mornings when I'm, you know, just getting ready for my day. And um, while I was uh, brushing my hair, I was reminded of 1 Corinthians 13. And, you know, there is so much out there right now wanting to provoke us. And you know what? It's okay. It's okay to get upset about things that are unrighteous and are un in um, the opposite and opposed to justice. It is perfectly all right. We, we must always, though, remember that while love does get upset about injustice, it rejoices with the truth, and it is always kind. So in our anger, <laughs> let's remember to not sin. And how do we sin? When we forget love. When we leave love and kindness uh, on the road and just pursue our passion. Um, so with that, I just want to read to you and to myself from 1 Corinthians 13 and encourage you this morning or excuse me, we're almost into the afternoon, if not, uh, yes, we are in the afternoon. <laughs> I just want to encourage you and myself from 1 Corinthians 13. If I were to speak with eloquence in earth's many languages and in heavenly tongues of angels, yet I didn't express myself with love, my words would be reduced to hollow sound of nothing more than a clanging cymbal. And if I were to have the gift of prophecy with a profound understanding of God's hidden secrets, and if I possessed unending supernatural knowledge, and if I had the greatest gift of faith that could move mountains, but have never learned to love, then I am nothing. And if I were to be so generous as to give away everything I owned to feed the poor and to offer my body to be burned as a martyr without the pure motive of love, I would gain nothing of value. Love is large and incredibly patient. Love is gentle and consistently kind to all. It refuses to be jealous when blessing comes to someone else. Love does not brag about one's achievement, achievements nor inflate its own importance. Love does not traffic in shame and disrespect nor selfishly seek its own honor. Love, <laughs> and this one's for me, <laughs> is not easily irritated <laughs> or quick to take offense. Love joyfully celebrates honesty and finds no delight in what is wrong. Love is a safe place of shelter, for it never stops believing the best for others. Love never takes failure as defeat, for it never gives up. Love never stops loving. It extends beyond the gift of prophecy, which eventually fades away. 
It is more enduring than tongues, which will one day fall silent. Love remains long after words of knowledge are forgotten. Our present knowledge and our prophecies are but partial. But when love's perfection arrives, the partial will fade away. When I was a child, I spoke about childish matters, for I saw things like a child and reasoned like a child. But the day came when I matured and I set aside my childish ways. For now we see but a faint reflection of riddles and mysteries, as though reflected in a mirror, but one day we will see face to face. My understanding is incomplete now, but one day I will understand everything, just as everything about me has been fully understood. Until then, there are three things that remain, faith, hope, and love. Yet love surpasses them all. So above all else, let Love be the beautiful plot, prize for which you run. Let love be the beautiful prize for which you run. It's okay to be upset. There's a lot to be upset about. But remember, love covers a multitude of evil. Love is the end and the beginning of all things because God is love. We never have to leave kindness by the way. Let love govern your decisions today. I love you. God bless. And Join me back here at Breathe Life Ministries at 4 o'clock Eastern Time, 1 o'clock Pacific Time, because you're not going to want to miss today's expert interview with Christian Health and Life Coach Marcella Owen. God bless and see you back here at 4.